Hey guys, welcome to another video review. Today we'll be testing the latest version of Bogard Internet Security, that is 12. So, first things first. So as you can see, I mean, the interface is really neat. I have to say, this is one of the best uh, antivirus interface that I've seen. You can run your scans, it's really simple. Just hit one button. You've got an automatic vulnerability scan and you've got your help and support it's all really great for beginners uh, it's really easy to learn this interface and then you've got your control panel but that doesn't give you any of the advanced settings that we'd like to have so I'm just gonna hit settings and here you can see all your advanced settings so it's really neat it's clean and it, the best thing is it's really easy to learn nothing confusing or anything like that so as you can see everything's in stock and they have got a behavior blocking system as zero day protection and by default it's set to remove all infections and they have heuristic scan and spyware scan enabled all by default I haven't turned anything on or off uh, they have got an attack detection in their firewall. See what that is? Okay, so as you can see, this protects you against port scans, IP address, spoofing, all kinds of attacks. So that's pretty cool. Then you've got your logging, alerts, you can customize all you want. And they've got a parental control feature and they do have a vulnerability scanner and they also have online backup and of course some tools like PC tune-up you can play around with them so everything sets stock this is just the way it comes it's really neat and faithful marks for that so let's just see how much RAM this interface takes to keep going So, we have Bogard process here, taking about 9 megs, then their behavioral blocking, then their scanner, uh, so it looks uh, kind of a little bit heavy to me. Okay, so these four process, it's about 43 or some megs, it's uh, not that light, but we'll see how it affects the performance. So first up, I think we'll do a file scan. Let's uh, just disable Bulgard for a moment here so that we can get, grab our malware files. And let's see how simple it is to do that. Not that simple. They don't have any option here to disable the protection. So we'll go to the real time. I'll turn it off. Okay. So now we'll just grab our malware files. I've got 378 files. All of them are brand new. By brand new, I mean they're less than a couple of days old or something like that. So I guess I'll be back when this is done. So I extracted the pieces of malware and they're 378 as you can see. All of these files are infected. So I'll just do a right click scan with Bulgard. And we'll see how many it finds and fixes. So I'll be back when this is done. Scan was fairly quick. As you can see it's just 1 minute and 25 seconds. That's all it took. And it's found quite a lot of issues, so I'm just going to hit fix. So it looks like their interface is really great for beginners. It really doesn't ask you too many questions. So I'll be back, I guess, when this fixing job is done. Okay, so as you can see, Bullguard has cleaned everything that it found. We'll just close that and let's see how many I has missed 
it's missed 102 items that were not cleaned as you can see pretty clearly so let's uh, do the math and find out the detection rate we had 378 So it gives us a detection rate of about 63.4%. Uh, so, in fact, that's uh, not that bad when it comes to files like the ones that we used. It's still pretty like average, but I think it should have been better. Anyway, we'll find out how it protects our computer against threats. So basically that's the detection rate. Now we'll move on to the malware links. Now all of these are infected websites. I'll turn the antivirus back on. There you go. And yeah, maybe I just forgot to show you guys that it's up to date. Okay, now it's 23 minutes ago. So you can say the scan and removal took about 20 minutes. So I just updated. Anyway, I'll make an, I'll do another scan with the latest updates. I don't remember if I checked for updates before doing this. I had, but I think I forgot to show you guys. Looks like they do have some newer updates, so I'll do one more scan. So I guess I'll be back when this done. Okay, so as you can see, it's updated now. So I'll do one more scan, just to make sure that their newer updates don't get any more of these threats. I don't guess, uh, I don't think they're going to get any more, and they didn't get it. So, I guess uh, we'll just try out our links now. Now, the first one that we've got is a Trojan Injector. Let's try it out. And it was blocked by the web blocking, that is the site advisor. And the site has been blocked. For your security, Bullguard has blocked access to this page. Okay, so that's good. Now the next one is another Trojan. So we'll try that out. Okay, this one was blocked as well. That's uh, pretty good. Now we'll just try out this one. And this one is an unknown threat. Might be false positive. I'm not sure. But the next one is confirmly a Zbot Trojan. Okay, so this one also getting through the web blocking. We'll run that, see if its CRD components get it. No. It seems to have opened up some browser, and there you go. Bogard has just stopped an infected download. Okay, so this one opened up a web page. I guess this was the one that was blocked. Okay, this one was blocked. But the last one got through and it opened up this web page. So that's not good. Let's try this one. And this page is kind of like, maybe that was just some kind of adware, I'm not sure. Okay, there you go, it's some kind of scam. Okay, got rid of that one. And this one also seems to have gotten through. 
This one is a Trojan agent. Okay, this one was blocked, probably. Okay, Windows Mail was automatically granted access to the internet. So it looks like the malware that got through. Okay, doesn't appear to have gotten through there. Bogart has blocked a suspicious file. Bogart has suspended the suspicious process until you choose an action. So, uh, I don't know. It's not telling me much. But it says it's suspicious. I'll just hit quarantine. Okay, that closed up my browser and my malware links. I wonder if what's happening here. Okay. That's not good. Looks like anything that I'm attempting to start is terminating by itself. There you go. Nothing's working anymore. Now that's not very friendly. Is it being blocked by Bogard or maybe some piece of malware? I'm not very sure. There you go, nothing's running. So I guess I'll just reboot and try to get these things running back up again. And I'll be right back. Welcome back everybody, I just rebooted and the computer's working fine again. I can't open up my stuff, so I'll just continue. Uh, I think we left off here. Uh, now we're going to try a Trojan downloader. Okay, so this one was blocked. The download has been stopped before the infected file can do any harm. Okay, so that one was blocked su successfully by Bulgard. The next one is a Trojan agent, so we'll try that out. Okay, again, this one was blocked. Now here I think we've got a piece of adware. Uh, with a pretty low detection rate, so you can call it whatever you want. Adware, not adware, safe, whatever you want. So, anyway, Bulgard blocks this. So, that's good. The next one is a Java exploit. We do have Java on the system, so it should work out. No. So whatever that was, it didn't work out that well. I don't think Bulgard blocked it, but it didn't do its job. So the next one's a botnet. Try that out. And that ends the link test. Okay, here we go. So web filter can block that. That's not good. I don't know what the script is. Uh, maybe it, it's going to try to drop some files or maybe it's uh, this is it I'm not sure uh, it's not gonna drop any file probably because it didn't do that last time I tried it but as you can see it just keeps up opening maybe it's trying to do something see if anything's happening here so let me just grab my testing tools okay I just grabbed my tools and opened up kill switch which is a process analyzer from Komodo and uh, the system looks clean so far. Kill switch hasn't identified anything, neither can I see anything that's strange. So yeah, this uh, didn't drop any file. So that's it for the prevention test. Now we're going to do the zero day prevention test, that is the prevention of malware that it doesn't know about. So. These are all the pieces of malware that it doesn't know about, but I know most of these will be probably adware, 
risk square and all stuff like that that isn't really gonna hurt the system that much so we're not gonna try these instead what we're gonna do is open up the range virus turn off the real-time protection or rather let's just uh, try to turn off their file antivirus I don't know if this will do it or if we have to turn off the real time I guess I'll just try to turn this off and hopefully that means it's not gonna scan anything so now I'm gonna delete or let's uh, I'll be getting this folder of malware again all the files that it's detected and let's just assume that it doesn't have signatures for any of these so that way we're gonna be able to know what how it's gonna protect the system in case we get trojans and rootkits and all that stuff that is in this folder if it doesn't have signatures for them now I know uh, some of you might be thinking what's why not just run these files well that's because most of the major malware will be caught by their signatures however I do want to know what if uh, we do get some major files that are not in its signatures then how is it gonna perform so we've got the folder of malware I've turned off their scanning but they've still got their behavior guard and uh, firewall so let's see how they prevent infections so we just ran a file and it appears to have worked out fine but there you go Bogart has just blocked a suspicious file so this is the behavior blocker coming in now if you hit more details it's going to tell you the risk now it's high and it's going to tell you what it was trying to do so that's pretty nice and block that okay so it wants me to reboot to remove it but I'm not going to do that so let's try out the next one okay so it still seems that maybe their signatures are still working maybe not okay so it looks like it's removing some files and I don't want that so we'll go back to their settings maybe I just didn't turn off the real-time properly okay so Internet Explorer crashed I don't know why it was still running okay so this is the firewall is asking for access to the internet I'm gonna allow that because it's just wants access to the internet and a lot of legitimate applications do ask for that okay so something's happening here looks like the okay this is probably some deadly piece of malware that has gotten through and it's trying to do a lot of stuff Bulgard partially blocked some things but there you go it's uh, just playing around with the system here okay so it looks like Bulgard now disabling the antivirus did work out because this one yeah so that's fine no problems with that we had the real time off all the time so I guess that's fine now since this one is in memory we're gonna continue okay this one's in memory as well now so we'll try the next one we'll skip some and go towards the end maybe try some from there in the sense that the PC is slowing down as it normally does whenever you get so many infections 
So behavioral blocker is not getting any of these. It got, I guess, only the first and second one. And then all of these are just running fine. Okay, so that one is, oh, it's uh, getting tougher and tougher to use this computer. Okay, so something just opened up here. No, I guess this just kill switch. Uh, system's pretty slow now. From what I remember, I think Bogart just missed one file in the link test. And so far, uh, but in the prevention test, I mean the zero day test, it doesn't seem to be doing very well. So I guess that's enough for now because I'm not going to be able to run any more stuff. So I guess I'll just reboot, run CCleaner. I'm not going to scan with Bogart because that's not the point. I was merely checking out their zero day component. So we'll see what it has let in here. So I'll just reboot and I'll do a scan with one of my scanners and I'll be right back. Okay, so I rebooted and this is what I see. Now that's certainly not good. A fight gate fee should have been cut by whatever zero day protection they had. So now this is going to cause a lot of problems right now. And just one thing, I made a mistake here. In fact, Bogart did a little bit better with the files than I said. We had 378 files and it cut 102. Let me just open up calculator from my host machine. Okay, so 378, I just made a typing error, I guess, while I was doing that. And I guess it cut 102. I mean, it left out 102. So that gives us a detection rate of 73.1%. So it's about 10% more than what I said. So that's a mistake. Sorry about that. But whatever it's let through is uh, causing a lot of problems here. So first off, I'm just going to try Norton Power Eraser if I can run it. And I'll be right back with the results of whatever I can run because I doubt if I'll be able to run anything at all. Okay, I was planning to do some scans, but this computer is not quite cooperating at the moment. The fake FE has just shut down Bogart. As you can see, it's no longer running. And if I double click the startup, you, as you can see, straight away, application cannot be executed. The file bogart.exe is infected or whatever it's telling me. Now this is the sprite new antivirus software that I've got. It's got all the tabs, but only thing it doesn't protect you. All it does is, no, it's just another piece of malware. So it's not going to let me run anything pretty clearly. Anything that I'm going to try to run is going to be blocked. Even if I try to start up Task Manager, that's going to be blocked as well. So really not much of a point from carrying on from here. Really, I could have done a scan in safe mode, but no point of that. Because Bullguard did let this computer get infected pretty badly. I shouldn't say that because this was probably in their signatures. So it would have been blocked, but let's say you get one more piece of this and it isn't in their signatures. Their behavior blocker is not going to block it. You're just going to be infected straight, just like this in case it's not in their signatures. Uh, they do have pretty decent signatures, but the behavior blocking has still got a lot of work to do, I guess. Because, I mean, a fake AFE is really easy to detect by any behavior blocking software. So, yeah, I mean. So, final verdict on Bullguard. Uh, so. It's no longer there. It's been killed by... 
another range for a sweet. So I can say it did protect fairly well. It did well in the link test. It got rid of most of the links, but then again, if we remember right, uh, when one of those links got through, we weren't able to start anything at all. So that was not good either. And after that, I mean, file detection was decent, not the best, but now kind of where most of the average suites get. But uh, I'm really not that happy with their zero day protection because they did have some kind of attack blocking, a firewall, some stuff, but they really couldn't come up to block this piece of malware. And I'm sure there are free more as well. So I guess that's kind of like it for this review. In case you get something like this, uh, probably have to go in safe mode and remove it. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm kind of like short on time. So I guess I'll just leave it here. So Bullguard, I don't know. Probably an eight out of 10, not a very good score. It's uh, decent, but I, I'd say there's still better free security suites than this right now. So I guess that's it for this review. Have a good day, comment, rate, and subscribe, and goodbye.